hot exotic cars come with a price, usually a big lease payment. Yeah, but when some owners wanted to get out of their leases, they claim an LA company took them for a ride. Investigative reporter David Goldstein has their story tonight. The lease payments are in the thousands, and these people wanted out. They turned to someone who we profiled back in 2008 and now accusing him of doing the same thing. Hey, Mr. Hullum, David Goldstein with CBS 2 News. Remember me? We did a story on you a while ago. Yeah. yeah. Jeffrey Hull remembers the story we did on him 10 years ago. After it aired, he was convicted of two counts of grand theft auto, served 15 months in prison for what the prosecutor called a slick, high-tech, and very sophisticated fraud. Hull wasn't accused of stealing them off the streets, but rather telling owners he'd find someone to take over their leases, only to take the car and not pay. This BMW sports car. Now we found him back wheeling and dealing with expensive cars, with some customers making the same allegations. Did you consider your car stolen? Yes. At that point, yes. Andre Bogan of New York thinks Hull stole his $85,000 Mercedes GLE. He wanted to get out of his lease and last year put an ad on a popular website which connects owners to buyers. Within days, he said, Hull called to say he'd act as the middleman to find someone to take over the lease. He said, oh, Andre, come on, Andre, let's get it, let's get it done. Uh, we're going to put your car in our parking lot. He signed a contract with Hull's company, Haven Transfer, which says they'll make the payments on the vehicle until the lease is transferred. But after a few months, he says Hull stopped paying. So he tracked the car with a Mercedes app and discovered it wasn't in a parking lot, but at someone's house in Las Vegas. He found this picture on the homeowner's Facebook page posing with his car, saying, this is how I'm pulling up on you all this summer. Gangsters moving. And everybody was, post was posting back saying, yeah, that's nice. You know, you just kind of like rolling here and I'm, and I'm looking here. I'm paying for this car. <laughs> And then this guy's rolling. <laughs> Bogan shot this video when he tracked his car to this lot in Hawthorne and took it back. And he's not the only one. Why did you want to get rid of the car? Uh, we had a newborn. Ignacio Martinez of Panorama City also wanted to get out of his lease a 2017 Tesla and also signed with Hull's Haven Transfer. Well, he told me the first 30 days it'll sit in my lot until I find a qualified he too tracked the car on his app. Uh, you could see it moving. And later found out Hull had rented it. Yeah, I just feel cheated and lied to. He tracked it to West Hollywood and took it back. So where's your car? I think it's in Las Vegas. I think. Dr. Constantino Mendieta of Miami also tracked his $160,000 BMW i8 to Las Vegas on his app. And what was your car supposed to be in Las Vegas? No, the car's supposed to be in Los Angeles. He, too, signed a contract with Hull's Haven Transfer. He says Hull hasn't paid the full monthly amount, and now he doesn't know who has his car. He's renting the car and making money that way. None of the owners knew there's language in the contract which says Hull can rent out the cars until the lease is transferred, but the owners want their missing money. Isn't it the same thing that you were doing back in 2010? We, again, leasing cars, uh, the answer is taking no. over the straight answer is no. I know that's the narrative that you guys are trying to create. Answer like, my hey, question. Look, isn't it the, the mistake, same thing? made this thing? mistake back in 2010, isn't, isn't and here we are in 2019. Thing? Hall maintains what he's doing now isn't against the law, but as far as not paying the present <laughs> leases in full... Are you paying all the lease payments as you're supposed to on all these cars? To the best of our ability. No one thinks go awry. No one thinks go awry. Well, that leaves that open that you're not that doesn't, paying it. Excuse me. When things to the go awry. the best of your ability. I had a 2008 Mercedes Benz. But Marsha Cooper, whose case was one of the ones in which Hull was convicted, says it seems like the same thing that happened to her. I think this needs to stop because, you know, there's a lot of people, it's going to hurt them financially. But we've learned the Department of Homeland Security is investigating Hull, and they won't say why. Other law enforcement departments have also received complaints. And since we questioned Hull, he's now saying he'll make good with two of the victims in our story. David Goldstein, CBS 2 News.